So, what is up, guys and girls? It's your boy, <laughs> and I have broken down. So, uh, impromptu vlog time, I feel. Um, I'll best tell you what happened. I've got the visor closed, but oh, I need to wipe it now. What basically happened was, going down the motorway, uh, bike started sounding a little rough, there was a little knock going, going along. I thought, right, this is a bit of trouble, because any knocking sound from an engine is usually not good. So a bit of a knocking sound, gradually got worse, started losing a bit of power. At that point I decided, right, fuck that, pull straight over, pulls over, there's smoke coming off the bike. And it's, it's just failing, it's just <laughs> really fucking horrible sound. Uh, got off, had a look, quick look round and there's oil pissing out so I shouldn't, I'm not going to go back to the bike because you're not meant to, you know, to stay away from it. But there's oil pissing out just from under where the side stand is. Uh. Sounds rough. Sounds rough as shit that. Don't need that in my life. Breaking down. Yep. Wow, what the fucking hell is that? Wow, okay. Oil? What the hell? Oil? What the fuck? Oil is just pissing out, I think. There's smoke coming off it though, which is never a good sign, means oil's burning. Fuck. A few moments later. So, uh, may as well make the most of it by doing a shitty vlog, which I've not done for months and months and months. I think it's been like seven months. So, uh, welcome back. I've broken down. Yep, 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 yep. I, I do it on purpose. I do it for the views, you know? Some people aren't dedicated to YouTube like me. <laughs> so I've got an hour to wait, up to an hour to wait for um, for recovery to take me home, and then uh, and then I think they'll take you, they'll take your bike to a, a mechanic the next day because you know it's uh, what time is it? it's gone six, everywhere's shot, no one's around. Uh, yeah, so that's fun. This is this is where I'm at. So 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 here's some breakdown tips for you. Here are some breakdown tips for you. Number one. If you have hazard lights on a bike, put them on. If you don't have hazard lights, then uh, get an alarm fitted and you can have hazard lights. Ta-da! This is an old bike, it's not got hazard lights as standard. But with the uh, with the S4, I think it's an S4, with the disc tool, get hazard lights and then people can see. Because if I didn't have them on, holy shit, look how pitch black it is. You can barely make it out. I know it's terrible footage because it's night time and it's shitty action cam but even looking at it you can barely make it out if you're going at 70 miles an hour you can barely make it out and just down there just around that bend a lot of people might have seen from from my videos just down there you've got the 61 which is pitch black so if I wouldn't have had those hazard lights on that can lead to a real fucking nasty situation where whereby someone if they want to use the, the hard shoulder they might end up slamming right into the back of your bike and fucking your day up even more. And the second one is, well, kind of related, make yourself visible. I am standing under a big fuck off 
light. Make yourself as visible as possible. I mean, I'm in black clothing. It's got reflective stuff on it, but it's hardly the best. And the third one, stay away from the fucking vehicle. A lot of people, when they break down, uh, they stay in the car or the lorry or the van or they stay near the bike or whatever. Get away from it and you get on the side. I mean, really, I should be all the way up there, but I mean, there's all thorny nettles and bushes and shit. Which I don't fancy crawling through, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I don't really fancy doing that, so I'm just going to stay here. And number four, maybe number four, it's might be number five, I don't care. Look at the traffic. Look where the traffic's coming. Look at all this traffic, right? Keep your vision facing in the direction of the traffic. Simple thing, simple little thing, but if I'm just going over here talking to you, blah, 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 I'm not seeing what's coming there. Someone might be actually screaming down the hard shoulder, not notice the bike. I don't notice them. And we all have a real fucked up day, more than it is already. So just keep keep looking at where the traffic's coming from. You know, face where the traffic's coming from so you can see what's happening. You can also see your recovery truck for when it turns up in an hour. Fucking brilliant, isn't it? And you can also see some highway highways agency guys. Sometimes they patrol down here and they might pull over if you're on a bike. It can get cold, it is January. So it will be bloody cold, it is bloody cold. That's why I got my helmet on for one. <laughs> because at least it's some some kind of warmth. And I've got little magic gloves on as well. To try and keep the keep the cold at bay. Keep moving round. Keep moving round a little bit as well, you know. Keep moving your legs, keep moving your feet. Stay warm. You know, if you start getting a bit cold, you'll, you'll start tensing up and shit and you might not pay attention to what could be happening. Uh, I don't really break down. You know, this is the first time this bike has broken down on me. I'm just going to open my visor a second, you're going to hear the motor wear. Oh, it's not bad actually. This is the first time I've broken down on this bike. I've only broken down once before on the, on the, on the old ZZR 600, back when I first started riding. And that was just one time as well. But anyway, oil's pissing out the bottom. Don't know where from. It's probably just a seal, uh, but because the knocking sound are, and there's no oil, I really don't want to. <laughs> really don't want to risk it. Trying to make it further home because it it just wouldn't make it. It was losing power completely. Uh, it didn't lose it when I'd stopped, uh, but you know, there's no point risking it. No point risking it. So that's where we're up to. I think that's some good safety tips for you. I think people, I think someone's texting me or ringing me. Not that I can hear them because I'm on the fucking motorway, but never mind. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. So, anyway, that was. So, what happens, you know? It's a bit interesting, isn't it? Anyway, who wants a dull, boring fucking life where you ride home safely and nicely and get to see your kids on time? Who wants that? You know what I mean? I want to bite what fucks me over. <laughs> oh, I can laugh because you know what? Fuck, man. The bike's not given me any jip for the past five years at all, and it's, it's just time. It's just, it's just, it's just what's happened. You know what I mean? It is looked after. It is serviced. Shit just goes wrong sometimes. You know what I mean? You just go take it to the shop, get it. Get it's probably a seal. It's probably a seal or some shit. Get it fixed up. Get back on the road and just get fucking going again. You know what I mean? Well, I've got to wait for, wait for a recovery truck. But anyway, that is it, guys and girls. Let me know your breakdown stories. Uh, well, oh, I'll tell you a breakdown story while, while I'm here and I've got some fucking time. I'll tell you a breakdown story of the, the ZZR when that broke down. What happened was, right, I had an old ZZR 600. Was it was in 93, or was it a 98? It might have been a 98. Oh, was that the ZZR? No, it was a 98, I remember. It was a 98 ZZR, old green, the aqua green little blocky one you know what I mean and it needed a new battery I took it to a dude who I've known for a little bit and uh, he said yeah I'll get you a battery for it put it in why did I why put, connect it up blah 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 I've got the new battery goes to ride we used to live in where did we live at that point I wasn't living with the missus then I don't think or maybe I was I'm having Levens you alongside one of them two anyway we lived over in Manchester way and the hell is that? I don't know. And basically got to 
We got towards Levenshulme Long Sightway. As soon as I got off the motorway, went kaput. The bike went kaput completely. And it transpired that... I've told this story before, I don't God, I need a more adventurous life, don't I? But basically, what had happened is the dude put the, uh, a completely wrong battery in it. And to stop it from rattling about, he shoved a tea towel down inside the battery compartment so, so it wouldn't move. And uh, yeah, that's when I broke down and had to wait another hour. And the, the, the recovery truck sent like the biggest, longest fucking flatbed in the fucking world. You could have got one of these big tower cranes on it for a little bike. You know what I mean? It's like, fuck me. There's no idea. If someone sets up the recovery place where we're at now, that we've got now, SOS Recovery, they're really good guys. They've got like a proper, proper van and they go to like in Europe and they'll bring you back from there. So they're really good. I'm with, I'm with Carol Nash. So I've got you know, recoverer. Oh, but anyway, that was the story. Let me know your stories below, guys. Let me know your breakdown stories. And uh, I'll see you again for another one. I'm sure I'll see you again for another one. Anyway, see you later. Peace the fuck out. Bye-bye. Oh, that was a fuck up, wasn't it? <laughs> fuck up just like my day. Well, I piss off. Oh, mate, I'll just leave you with a with an epic, a low. <laughs> I'll just leave you. I'll just leave you with a uh, last last twenty seconds. You know what I'm saying? I'll just yeah. I'll, I'll shut up. I'll leave you with the last twenty seconds so you can do me a favor and click on one of those videos or subscribe or whatever you want to fucking do. I'll just just ignore me completely. I'll shut up. I'll do it. <laughs> oh, what a cunt.